Hi, welcome to Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Robert Green, and joining me today are David and Sinem. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey Robert, how are you doing? Good. We were going to have Michael Price joining us, but due to technical difficulties, he won't be on this video. Uh, we'll try to get him on to show his stuff in the very near future. So, but we'll move forward. Uh, and we're going to talk about C++ and agents and GitHub Copilot. Very, very, very exciting stuff. Um, before we get into all the demos and stuff, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves. Sure. Uh, I'm David. Um, and I am the game developer product manager on the C++ team. Um, a lot of my focus is around game development and C++ applications that are generally large. Um, and today we have a lot of exciting things to show you. Um, yeah, seen them? Yeah, my name is Sinem. I work as a product manager with David Lee on the C++ team, um, focused on sort of GitHub Copilot capabilities and enhancing the C++ developer experience. There. Awesome. Welcome to the show. Thank you. David, David's a long time <laughs> guest. <laughs> Welcome back. Always great to have you. Thank you. And Sinem, always great to have new people on the show. Thank you. All right. So what do we got going on in C++ world? Yeah, so we have a lot of exciting new capabilities for C++ developers and GitHub Copilot. Um, myself, David, and Michael have been really focusing on some of the key C++ developer pain points and how we can close that gap between um, developer pain points and agentic functions to um, enhance sort of like the accuracy and validity of C++ coding problems. So. Um, we have a few things that we're going to demo today. I will be showcasing our new C++ code editing tools for GitHub Copilot that are now available in private preview in Visual Studio. Mm -hmm. And David, um, what are you going to present on today? Yeah, so I also have an agent that is in private preview. Um, the agent is the uh, GitHub Copilot build performance for Windows. It leverages uh, MSVC's ca trace capture technology to analyze your project. So um, what, what it does, it, it will you know, it'll make a build, uh, have a trace, and then the agent will identify some hotspots and suggest edits to improve your build performance. Um, because, you know, um, especially as a game developer PM, I know that a lot of C++ customers uh, are very, very focused on improving their build times. Yeah, and we've done a number of episodes, a couple episodes on that, but more performance is always better. End of story. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Who wants to show us first? Sure. I'll show our uh, C++ code editing tools in Visual Studio and sort of just walk you through how it's going to work. So what we have here is we have... Um, Visual Studio Open with Bullet 3, and our C++ tools are designed to help provide C++ context powered by our IntelliSense capabilities so that the agent has access to all the relevant context for a given operation. Since as you know, with C++, you can sort of be making updates all across the place, across large files, across multiple files. And so it sort of helps with locating all that relevant context and making agentic updates for any sort of code editing that you're doing in C++. And so to enable these tools in private preview, you can navigate over to this tools icon and we have our C++ tools that are currently designed available here. So um, getting symbol call hierarchy, class hierarchy, uh, definition and references. And so these sort of provide you with all the relevant C++ context for a given symbol. And so an example I have here is, for example, in bullet three, I have this function called grow tables, and I would like to update them to use a logging parameter um, that is type enum. And so using our C++ tools, as you can see right here, it was able to call our get symbol references and quickly find all references to this specific function. And so once that has these references, it can then sort of iterate through these different uh, call sites and ensure that all the relevant updates are made. And so it is able to both accurately and reliably and uh, quicker 
update, make all the relevant updates across my code base. So as you can see, it provided all these uh, updates. And so if I go to all the grow table references, you can see that I have references to this new logging uh, parameter. And so that really makes this scalable and applicable to sort of real C++ code bases that we are sort of trying to uh, make better. So that's sort of what we have in private preview today. We have our private preview signup available. So we highly encourage that anyone who is interested in trying these out for your code editing workflows to sign up for our private preview today mm -hmm. and um, try these out and let us know any feedback. We're, we're highly committed to improving the C++ workflows within. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And where should the feedback go? Is that just dev community? Is there a separate space for it? So after signing up for the survey, we'll be reaching out to developers that um, sign up and onboarding them to our private preview. And so we'll be working with them directly to engage in feedback. Fantastic. All right. So was this a, a lot of work to do? Was this just kind of in the general workflow? Give us a. Yeah, a I think it's a lot. so it's um, the, the goal of these tools are to provide uh, value across a wide variety of agentic responses. So if you're trying mm -hmm. to make updates to existing code bases, or if you're trying to understand your symbols, um, it's sort of designed to help all over the place, but it was a lot of work to ensure that these tools provide value to C++ developers. So cool. it's one thing to expose the capabilities, but it's another thing to make sure that they succeed in agentic and LLM uh, mechanisms. So, Fantastic. yeah. Fantastic. Excellent. All right, that's cool. All right, David, can you beat that? <laughs> it's be hard. Sure. So. Um, <laughs> I think I'm showed you a great workflow um, with the new agent and wow. editing phase um, of your developer workflow. Um, but what, what I have for today is uh, a sneak peek into how our build performance agent works. Um, okay. And as you might have remembered from my previous appearances on the show talking about build insights, we're really taking that just one step further to really broaden um, how how you can use a technology like Build Insights, um, but you know, agentify it so that all users can use it with the help of GitHub Copilot. So cool. what I have for you for um, for all of you today is uh, an open source repo called Jolt Physics. This is a very very popular open source physics library that is used by AAA games, um, many many AAA games. So. Well, what, what I can do is uh, we can first go to agent um, to make sure we're in agent mode. And then we can uh, at build perf CPP. It will say uh, use build perf CPP to optimize your C++ build. And I can type a simple prompt such as make my build faster. So as you can see here, um, the the agent will kick off and tell you what it's going to do. So the first thing that the agent will do is to build your project with vcperf. And what vcperf is, is the command line version of build insights. And this takes a little while, but it allows the agent to capture the trace, the, the ETW events um, emitted um, during build. And because and we're- I love to interrupt for one second. I love that idea that it takes a while. You know, we, people, when we do co-pilot profiler agent, people say the same thing. Oh, it's gonna take a while, but this thing can in five minutes save me five hours that seems incredibly fast to me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's the goal, right? If, you know? if we are able to reduce your build time by either um, a percentage or even minutes um, or tens of minutes, think of how your application um, can save resources over time, right? Um, if you have a lot of build farms, um, just even a few seconds or a few minutes saved is a lot of resources saved. Exactly. So it's a it it may s seem like a lot, but it's a very 
compared to the benefit you're getting, it, it's a very small investment. Yeah, so. it definitely adds up over time. So yeah. um, let's uh, let's scroll up to the chat a little bit, and we can see that the agent has identified some opportunities. So, for example, um, test.h is taking up 21% of build time. So this is a very common scenario for C++ projects, expensive header includes. Um, but not only headers, right? Um, this agent will not only be able to expose expensive header includes, but also long function generation bottlenecks and costly template instantiations. So because we see that there is um, headers, uh, we know that um, the agent will want to optimize it with um, perhaps creating a PCH. So you can check out the optimization plan, check if it already exists, and add frequently included headers to the PCH. So the agent does a bunch of tasks and reads all the files. So here we see that it is reading um, test.h, one of the identified headers that were expensive. So uh, we can see here the agent is asking, uh, adding a bunch of um, pre-compiled headers. Um, and it's working through. So at this step, after the agent has made its change, then it'll kick off another build to mm -hmm. make sure that the project has built correctly and capture a before and after to, to know that how much time you have saved by running the agent. This looks a little similar to what the profiler agent does. Is there some shared technology under the hood? Um, the profiler agent is, um, is a big inspiration for for build insights. Um, while it doesn't really share too much under the hood, okay. um, it's really the the cases in which you would use it um, is actually very similar. So for example, the, the profiler agent um, tackles runtime performance issues, um, while um, the build performance agent tackles, um, tackles build time issues. So right. with both of these agents, um, you can you can use both um, to to reduce um, perform uh, to improve performance with all aspects. Mm -hmm. So uh, both, as you yeah. as you saw there, uh, the build has failed, but that's okay because um, the agent will figure out what uh, what the error is and adjust without any additional input from me to make sure that our project has built successfully. So let's give it uh, another quick second to, to see that if it finished. Okay, nine succeeded. That is exactly what we want, All right? So we have uh, analysis complete and the agent tells us, hey, oh, excellent results, right? Let's, yep. um, let's take a quick look. Um, we have a before and after, including an, an improvement. It lists um, the most impactful changes. Um, and the agents decides um, it's still showing relatively high compile times for, for one of the projects. Um, so what will happen is um, the agent will attempt to make additional changes um, to make sure that project in, in our solution um, is, you know, will be optimized as well. So what the agent will do is to continue iterate until all of your projects uh, have optimized build times. And the agent will take you every step of the way. That is awesome. All right. So this is amazingly cool stuff. It's in private preview. Uh, again, that link, in case anybody didn't get it the first time, is here. So people should sign up for this, play around with it, and help improvement so we can get it in the product as soon as possible, right? 
yeah, this is a great opportunity um, to to trial all of the agents that we have on offer. So between me, Sinem, and Michael, who will um, who will be appearing in a different episode, um, yep. all of these agents will really help uh, give additional productivity to your C++ developer workflows. Okay, I think Sinem's video may have froze, so I think that's our sign to wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show. We'll, we'll definitely have you back uh, maybe in the new year to spend more time on this and do a deeper dive. But for now, this is awesome stuff. Thanks again. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We will see you next time on Visual Studio Toolbox. Thank you. Mm -hmm.